Yo, never fear. Reggie's here. We back with another video. What's popping? I want to talk to y'all about growth. You do not grow as a man. You do not grow as a woman. If you do not grow spiritually with Christ. I was reading Ephesians chapter 4, 13 through 15. And it spoke about unity and faith through Jesus. Not through me, this person, and that person, and working together. Yes, that is teamwork, but true, true togetherness, God has to be in the mix. When God is in the mix, what the Bible says, when one or two come together in my name, right? He is in the midst. When God is in the midst, you will see it all, you will know it all. And you will be able to move correctly, spiritually. Divine guidance. Disclosure. Disclosure. It's almost like a, I hear an NDA. NDA document together. This is what I'm hearing. What else, God? He says, keep going. Trust. You must trust in the Father. The Father God. The son of man and you got the Holy Spirit it's very interesting how you cannot split the three they are three in one right you got father God made everything we know who God is right we know who Jesus is. Jesus came on this earth, died for our sins, and through him we may have eternal life. And then you have the Holy Spirit, the comforter, what we like to call divine influence, right? Because Jesus, he died a long time ago, left, send it back up to heaven, right? To be with the Father. He left us with the Holy Spirit as a comforter. Many people don't know God because they don't have an accepted soul salvation. Um, you have to believe and be willing to transform into that. But most importantly, everything that's old, you must die. Without God, you don't grow into a person that you are actually meant to be. That's why people say when you walk with God, God, he'll guide you. Without God, you don't become that person. You don't become the most successful. You don't become the wealthiest. You don't become the most loving. You don't become whatever God has for you. You don't become a healer. You don't become those things. You will trick yourself into thinking that that's the ego. Oh, I did this. I did this. You're living a lie. Without God, you are nothing. I went up to that. We are all nothing. We're all filthy rags on our best day. But through Christ, we can grow into something more. But it comes down to your full belief. If you are not willing to live for God in a season where people say you're crazy, how could God bless you abundantly and increase you? publicly and people know that it wasn't you it was him okay in you see that's the thing ego must die once your ego dies and you walk with christ everything flows everything you want you want that new job you'll have it you want to be stupid rich you'll get it you want whatever car you want you'll drive it and the reason why I talk material because that is what most of the world sees. All you see is superficial. Without the gifts that God has, and there's many gifts, many spiritual gifts God has. When you ask God to come into your life saved, you say, let me do altar call real quick, cool. we'll continue. Lord God, if you want to be saved, you say, Lord God, come into my life and save me. I believe Jesus Christ, he died, he risen again. Lord God, thank you. I'm willing and ready to serve you. I'm willing and ready to live for you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray, man. That simple prayer will save your soul. Now, continuing on. After you've done that, you want to consult with God. God is now your business partner. God is now the person who's guiding you. God is the person who will trek, who will put you in the position that you want to be in. Don't worry about the time, the place, whatever. God don't work on time. Time is an illusion anyway. Right here, right now, it's the present. That's why we call the present a present. You know? Gifts. Gifts. Your spiritual gifts that God gives you, you're supposed to use those things 
okay god gives you hands in the physical he gives you mind in the physical but everything is from the spiritual the imagination is from the spiritual it's god giving you that those thoughts it's god saying go here it's god telling you to do this everything lines up and if you do not recognize that you will be lost you will think you're living a life that you want to live i've been at this job for 40 years I ain't seen no growth yet. Well, yes, maybe you haven't went to God. Well, I asked God for this. He didn't answer. Did you actually live for him? He died for you to so live for him. I asked God for these new cars, man, but it seems like every time I get a new car, something wrong with it. Did God tell you to get the car? Or did your ego say get the car? I wanted a new house, but it seems like I lived there for a year. It just wasn't enough. Okay, did you buy the house because you wanted the house or did you get the house because them down the street got a nice house and you're jealous? Where's your heart? God doesn't work in a hardened heart. He can heal it. He's not He's not going to do nothing you won't allow him to do. Anything you want. Master manifester. Reggie Uncut, Reginald Langley. I get what I want when I want, but not because of who I am. It's because I'm a humble servant of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. I told you all who I was before, and I achieved it. Why would I sit around here and lie to people? Makes no sense. Am I perfect? Not at all. But you're not meant to be perfect. The only person that was actually perfect was Christ himself. But if you don't even believe in him, when you have no one, how in the world can you show up for yourself? Some people won't even show up for themselves on the daily to just try. Some people only call out the guy when it's hard. Imagine someone standing in the door and opening it and say, hey man, come on in whenever you want to. I know you out there doing whatever, but it's open, it's warm in here. I know it's cold outside. You don't stumble and fail 10 times in a row last 25 years. But guess what? God doesn't even care. He'll use you. Stop looking in the physical of what you see about what Christians are, people. What, what, what people who serve the Lord Jesus Christ is. But we live in abundance over here. I lack nothing. And it, it, the lack doesn't happen just in the, the physical. It starts in the spirit. And if you don't understand those things, if you don't go deeper in God's word, if you don't go deeper in the knowledge that God has given you on this earth, the Bible is the best personal development book you can read. Correct? I think we all understand that now. If you actually read the word of God and uh, hone in on it. But also educate yourself on other readings, right? When I say other readings, I mean knowledge that you can apply in your jobs, useful service in your businesses, whatever it may be. It's not always about how fast I can get rich. It's about how fast you can learn and help people. Because here's the thing I realized. Like two things. When praises go up, blessings come down. Whatever you loose on earth, it'll be loose in heaven. I believe a lot of that comes when it flows from the heart. If you have an envious, hateful, deceitful, disturbed soul, do you think God's going to give you anything? Oh, I got all this stuff. Who did it come from? Did it come from the Lord? Or did you just get it because you wanted it out of your free will? Or did the enemy send it to you and you took it? But here's the thing with the enemy. If you got something at one point and it's gone, then it didn't come from God, probably. Or maybe you got something from God and you did not manage it correctly. These are all lessons you must learn. No one's perfect. But if you learn them, you'll grow. When someone falls, you don't laugh. Because the same person that falls will be the same person God makes ruler over everyone. Be very careful. First generation multimillionaire. Signing out. More to come. And for all who doubted me, this will be the most regretful years of your life. Tell your kids, kids, about me. And you know this.